What's the difference between a good joke and a bad joke? Rock with me. Rock with me. I just want to take you into a bit of the view. It's gorgeous. And I don't know how, but when I looked at the forecast today, I just uh, thought it was going to rain. But it's turned out nice. And it's a, a big quarry, this one. It's a lot, I'm going to be tired when I finish this one. I know it now. Uh, we found a few little bits of quartz and stuff at the minute, drizzly. Uh, I won't show you them until we're on the way back because I ain't carrying them all the way there and then carrying them all the way back. But this uh, whole quarry is massive. It goes right the way down there. I don't know if you can see that. But it is all the way down. But the countryside here just stretches out for miles. And it's lovely. It's absolutely lovely. Everywhere around here, I seem to be finding loads of wild strawberries. I wonder if it's worth coming back for a pick. If I sound like I'm out of breath, it's because there's a lot of walking here. It's a big quarry. And uh, there's a lot of places to look. I mean, the cliff face is massively high, but we're going miles up over the top of this cliff. I don't know how good it's going to be, but we'll keep you posted. This is one hell of a big piece of fluoride. I don't think I'll be carrying this over. I'll give you a bit of idea of the size I'll put my boot on it. That is one big piece. Pretty though, very pretty. There's a lot of cliff faces here, and I've... Uh, been looking around them, but I can't be seeing stuff like the other mine. There don't seem to be that much crystal formation. But the cliffs are nice, and they're, they're very high. Very high, how far does that go up? But you can see where, you know, they've obviously taken out the good stuff. I mean, look at that size. Are those boulders there that they've left behind? As I'm walking through these great big boulders, I'm finding little bits of pockets. I don't know if you can see that down there. That's a little quartz pocket in amongst these, but they seem more, you know, more like a flint than anything. I'm not, not sure that, you know, we'd actually find any crystals in here. Some beautiful views from here. I just love it over there. And there, uh, some big cliff faces. And you can see just here how it's changed into that red. You know, sort of an iron oxide. I don't know if we're going to find stuff in it or not. But we're going to take a poke round. I ain't found things in great amounts yet. But I am finding bits. I could spot a bit here. I don't know if you can tell that. Can you tell that from there? That looks sort of grey. 
but it's one big crystal. I'm not sure if it's quartz or if it's calcite. I think uh, if I give it a bit of a smack on this rock, that's calcite. You can see the way it's fractured nicely. You, you know, it's, it's got beautiful crystals there. You can see the formation in that. It's got a different look. It ain't got that ye yellow look to uh, the last quarries that we've been to. This has got a nice grey look. There's a few bones here. These are the difference between bones and a fossil. These, obviously something's died here. I don't know if that's a hip bone of a rabbit or something, so I don't know. But we found a big piece of calcite. And now this is getting a bit too common to find. Uh, I ain't gonna be taking this big piece home, so if anybody comes out here, there's a big piece just there, look. This, this quarry, there seems to be more walking than finding stuff. It is absolutely huge. It goes for miles round. Well, probably not miles, but a long way. It's a good walk. Just keeps going round and round. As I'm sitting here, I've just been perking through the stones. And you look at this piece here, look. It looks like just a bit of uh, limestone rock. But you know it ain't when you pick it up. That's... Uh, one big piece of galena, you know, solid. It's like a, a lump of lead. This is what they've been coming here for, you know, in big amounts. But they must have had big lorries to carry this around. I'll tell you, this little piece here weighs a real amount. You can see the different colours of stuff. There's a bit of iron oxide over there and a bit of a... The green slaty colour over there. I don't know. There's a, a big piece of fluorite in here. Uh, I don't know how good that's going to look actually. It looks quite, you know, molten together in some way. So we're going to have a go at hammering it out. Uh, I'll let you watch, but I, I bet there's going to be a bit of noise. I don't know if I'm going to get this out. I don't seem to be moving it at all. But I am determined. I must admit, I am determined. Um. It's a big piece of fluorite. I don't know if it's worth really hammering this big piece out. There's no, no signs it's gonna be a good example really than anything else we've been finding around here, but it's, it is fluorite and we're gonna leave it. Bit of hard work. You can actually see the way the formation of the rocks has been pushed up here. You can see them sort of like going in slabs, going across and different ways. But down here in the corner here, just behind that bush, we're gonna go and have a look into a cave and we'll see what it's like. Well, this is the cave. It's weird. You look into the cave here and you can actually see nuts and bolts at the top there. Somebody's been here and put them in for some reason. There's been some machinery in here at one stage. I find Great big bits of fluoride. Great big bits, purple. And you can actually see it in the walls here. I'm hoping I'm gonna find some other stuff. But that's, that's fluoride massive there. Actually in this cave, there's loads of crevices where people have been digging it out. I don't know if you can see down there, but it's uh, weird. That they've actually gone in there. I, I feel a bit claustrophobic in these places. 
and all I'm finding at the minute though is just great big lumps of calcite, lots of it. I mean, it's better than finding nothing that we thought we were going to find. But, the, you know, there's formations in the rock of, you know, you see bits of galena, you can see bits of uh, calcidney that's got, you know, or lime formations and the dripping everywhere. And there's circles, little lumps of circles up there. I don't know if you can actually see that. But it's uh, circles of uh, lime that's formed in the rock in bubbles. We just checked that cave out. And we found another cave over here. We're going to have a check it out. Hey, look at that. It's a hair. Did you see that hair? I've just been in this cave down here. And there's nothing. Nothing. It looks like somebody's actually carved this away and took the good stuff. I've just found a couple of bits I put on the floor here. I don't know what that is. It's some sort of thing. But I, I reckon if I chop that, it might even polish. It's a nice piece. And I found this uh, bit of fluoride, but it's got dog tooth crystals in it. Calcite dog tooth crystals in it. I, I like that. I'm hoping that's going to be a little bit of a wall piece. Nice that is, isn't it? We've just been walking up. I'm about to take a breather. Why? Well, it's killing me. All the way up these hills, it's just you know, making my legs ache. But I found some different stuff, which is worth a look. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's some sort of copper base, but when I get home, I'm gonna have a look on the net and see what it is, but it, it's got a nice green look to it. And there's some other bits I found that, I don't know if I'm gonna cut them with a the thing, that they're gonna make uh, nice little slabs. I'll have to look at that, because they've, they've got banding of different colors in them. I don't know if you can see that. There's another piece here. It's got bits of band in it. I don't know if they'll polish up or not. Oh, you know, it's worth a look. I'm just trying to look through here and I just moved this stone. And I found a wonderful little uh, ant's nest. Can you see them? Ah, I think this is a, a good point to let you have a look in here and to say goodbye. But, uh, I'm out here looking and I'm happy for all you YouTubers, you know, subscribing and commenting on that. And uh, I hope you enjoy my channel. I hope you, you know, we found enough today, but today hasn't been as good as the last days. Uh, and this seems taking a bit of work. Uh, I'm glad you've joined me on the trip though. And I found some things that are a little bit different. And when I get home, I'll, I'll let you have a look and we'll see what we can do. Thanks for watching the Captain Show. These are the finds that we found at the quarry. And it turns out, I found some good specimens and some different sorts. And I'm gonna start off with this one here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but the, the quartz bits that are in there have got gertite, gertite quartz. Can you see them like, like black speckles in the actual quartz? It's a bit odd. But I hope, you, you know, you can see that. But that, that's a special thing. I'm going to write the names down to these because I have done the research. And I mean, this is a, like an amethyst or a blue john. 
I mean, that, you know, it's all based around fluoride, but that is some nice piece. Do you know what I mean? That's nice. There's quite a few of them. There's another, like, close to quartz, but it's got a little bit of a tint of amethyst. Very nice, very nice. And this piece is glorious. I just love this piece. If you can see that. That is just so nice. Yeah, you know, amethyst crystals, and I think that's anglesite. That's, uh, you know, the actual toothy pieces. But that is gorgeous too. It is absolutely beautiful. I found loads of bits of, like fluoride that glint nicely and, you know, shine. And some real big pieces. They've got some nice, you know, crystals in and that. Really nice. And even the little bits have got nice bits in. And this... Yeah, this, this is anglesite. I know it looks like calcite, dog tooth, but it isn't. It's anglesite. I've looked it on the net. And you can tell here, this is that smitholite. You know, you can see it better under a microscope or something, but, you know, that is a nice piece. A nice piece. We've done really well, really. Yeah, and this is something totally different. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to say this right, but Chamorite. Oh, Chamo. Uh, Charmite. Is that right? <laughs> I'm going to put the names down. It, it'll be easier. But, you know, we found, obviously, calcite in big bits. I know that one nicely. But that's, that's a nice piece. Found these banded bits. And you can see that, that is copper there copper in amongst these banded bits there's some really nice ones here today yeah i'm quite shocked at you know how, how good the specimens are i mean all in all you know the day might have been a bit of a different day and hard to find things but when it came to we found some good stuff we found some good stuff i mean look at that the glinting and the purple in that. Just beautiful, just beautiful. And the, the banding on this little piece. I'm not sure what that is. Not found much about it neither, you know, but it's uh, some sort of limestone setup. And there's, you know, a few pieces. But we had a great day. And I, I think this one has got to be the spoil of the day. I'm so happy with that. So happy. I don't know if I can get that even better look for you. That is just so nice. So nice. That's going to go on the wall. Yeah. I'm hoping, you know, that we go out and find more stuff like this. But thanks for watching anyway. And uh, please comment, subscribe and like on the channel. You're all welcome. Very welcome. Warmly welcome. Thanks for watching anyway. Rock with me. What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs>